all right y'all i'm back out here for part two uh for many of y'all asking uh hey man uh can i use my f22 throttle body on a h23 uh manifold no you cannot because the fast idle valve on the f22 a1 a4 a6 sits right here it sits right here okay on the h23 throttle body the fast idle valve sits under it's bolted under the throttle body you can't really see it but it's right here it's bolted to the throttle body on the bottom that's where your coolant line goes <coughs> off of the thermostat housing if you can follow it this line here goes to the fast idle valve <coughs> uh, trying to find other lines for y'all here but yeah just so y'all know that you cannot use the f22 uh throttle body because you know the way the casting is and everything like that um it's just you, you can't use it so that's for all y'all wondering uh if you can use a F22 throttle body on a H23 intake manifold. No, you cannot. All right, that's just plain, clear-cut common sense. You can just look at them and compare different parts. You know that you cannot use a F22 throttle body on a H23. But anyway, um, yeah, for y'all people <clears throat> wondering um, about. Um, putting on um say you swapping in a, a, a six into say a 90 91 cb7 <clears throat> man look here man this is some easy shit y'all asking me man uh do i have to uh wire it no man all you gotta fucking do man is, ch is take your fucking 1990 91 uh dizzy and put it on the a6 okay 92 93s are equipped with external coils that's the only difference, man. Alright? So all you gotta do is when you put the fucking engine in, you swap in, you swap over your internal coil distributor onto that uh, head. Simple. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple as hell, man. You know, it's really fucking easy. That's all you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's just it's just straightforward. Oh, yeah. And uh, if anybody using, say, you putting in an H22, uh, H23 transmission attached to a CV7, right? Attached to the uh, F22. Uh, you want to use the prelude mount, all right? Because if you're not proficient in drilling your transmission and tapping it for the cord mount, then I highly, <laughs> I highly advise, advise and suggest you use the prelude mount that comes with that comes with that transmission so uh yeah it's it's raining it's cold as fuck out here man but just wanted to go over a, a few key things here you know what i'm saying so uh i'm gonna go ahead and shut my hood man it's not good for this these wires to get wet so but yeah uh hopefully y'all learn a little something something in this short little video all right y'all take it easy